John Rondo. History 41 years ago today, Willis Reed gave Knicks fans a moment which may still make the hair stand up on their necks. He returns from a torn thigh muscle in Game 7, made the first two baskets of the game. That's all he scored, but it was enough to inspire his team. And the Knicks knocked off the Lakers and won the championship that Game 7. Let's get on the Sports Center Express. Some other notable athletes playing through pain. In 1979, Jack Youngblood chop locked. His left fibula snaps, but Youngblood would play the second half. Got a sack on Roger Staubach, and the Rams pulled off the 21-19 upset. Down 4-3, two outs in the ninth. Game one of the 1988 World Series. Kirk Gibson in his only at-bat in the series. The two-run home run off Dennis Eckersley to give the Dodgers the win. I don't believe what I just saw. With a division title on the line in 1994 against the Giants, Emmett Smith, who separated his shoulder in the first half, had a second half that Cowboy fans may never forget. 59 yards rushing, caught four passes, Cowboys won. And then, remember this, Carrie Strug, 96 Olympics. She performed the twisting Yurchenko. You remember that one, Sage, the old oh, Yurchenko. Yeah. Her score good enough to give the U.S. the gold despite the bad ankle. 2002, one of the most iconic images in college football. Byron Leftwich carried downfield by two of his teammates. He had a broken tibia. Marshall lost to Akron despite the heroics.